Hey guys, today Apple has officially released iOS 11.1 Beta 4. Now, the download for this software was 2 gigabytes. That's a very large file. Now, there is a reason for that. There's a few changes, but that's not all. Apple also has a few patches that I want to share with you guys, including the lock screen bypass. We're going to go ahead and check and see if that's been fixed. And if we can see here by the smaller build number, 15B92, usually when there's a shorter build number like that, it's pretty much the Gold Master copy, the GM, and it, developers are getting it now, and the public will most likely get it sometime next week. Okay, so iOS 11.1 is right around the corner, most likely Monday, Tuesday, next week, we'll see the official launch of this software to the general public. Now, we can find some minor changes in this software if we go to accessibilities. This one on the right is running a beta 3. This is running beta 4 on the left, of course. If we go to accessibilities here, we see that these two sections here have been completely compacted into one single section. If we scroll down, you see that reachability now has its own tab separately. And we keep scrolling down, you see here where it starts with switch control. This section down here has also been compacted to be its own category altogether. So reachability now has the little tab there you can turn on or off. It's going to be this section or this action here. If we turn it off, then that's not going to happen. So pretty much that's the only thing I've seen around the operating system in terms of changes within the software. Okay, so now what I want to do is go ahead and check and see if Apple fixed the lock screen bypass properly. I came across a lock screen bypass that gave you access to photos by tapping into custom messages. And let's go ahead and reproduce this process and see if Apple has patched it. So messages, custom, and then we type the three emojis here and then we get access to photos. And I was playing around with it as you can see here. And let's go ahead and hang up, activate Siri, open settings. You'll need to unlock your iPhone. Lock the device, go back, make the phone call again, go to messages, go to custom, let's type three emojis one more time, hang up, Siri, open settings you'll need to unlock your iPhone. okay do that again one more time and uh, let's go ahead and do it and yep apple has definitely patched the lock screen bypass that i came across and reported to them uh to uh, fix within the software so they have fixed it before the official release of this software it's a little glitchy there on the lock screen i do have the bug report here that i've submitted to apple and they definitely patched it it looks like it was worked on and it was uh, very well put together there been patching the lock screen bypass for ios 11.1 luckily i got that in on time so apple now when we all update to 11.1 we won't see that bypass uh, affect any of our devices in the future that was the main reason why i wanted to push it out uh, rather quickly uh, to have them fix it but they have fixed it and you might be wondering if the download was two gigabytes why don't we see that many changes well bug fixes as you saw other minor changes within the os and this is the gold master copy pretty much i'm pretty sure this is the gold master copy we won't see any major changes to the software before it releases to the public unless another major uh, flaw is discovered before its official release uh, so that means that apple once you're running a beta all they do is pretty much overwrite the entire operating system with the gold master copy and reinstall the software on your device as a new software as a new build not a beta so that's the reason why you see such a large download uh, right there so other than that i haven't noticed anything else of course you know i'm going to be testing the battery performance i'm going to do 11.1 gm versus 11.0.3 which is the official release right now and let's see how those two compare in terms of battery performance and that about brings it into this video i hope you guys have a great weekend and i'll see you real soon peace